Hello, this is Gihan Pereira. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to talk today about using AI for business building and to give you ideas for your business. I'm here in beautiful Christchurch in New Zealand and uh, I'm speaking at a travel conference. Uh, this is an Australian group of independent travel agents who are having their annual conference here in Christchurch. So I talked about being fit for the future and also more specifically about the impact of AI. And in my AI workshop, we had a look at some ways that travel agents can use AI to, to improve and enhance their business. Now travel agents are interesting because some of them think that AI is going to make them redundant and their businesses obsolete. But the smart ones, and this group is one of them, the smart ones recognize that they can leverage AI to do their business better and to, to serve their customers and clients better. So I'll give you an example. So let me pick an example of somebody in the room in the workshop. Um, I'm going to change the details a little bit so that I can preserve her privacy and confidentiality. But let's say there's a travel agent who was based in Cairns for many years and is now moving to Adelaide and is re-establishing her business in Adelaide. What can she do to build her business? So we asked ChatGPT. So we started by saying, first of all, uh, what specific and unique expertise do I have about Cairns and Far North Queensland that I could then offer to a new customer base here in Adelaide and for uh, South Australian customers? And ChatGPT came up with a number of examples and a number of ideas. One of them was actually not answering her question, but was valuable because it suggested one thing she could do is go back to her existing clients in Far North Queensland and offer them Adelaide, Adelaide Hills, South Australian experiences. And she thought that was an area that was worth tackling first. So then she asked, give me, the li give me a list of 20 businesses in and around Adelaide who, I'm, who might be interested in partnering with me to set up unique experiences for people visiting from far north Queensland. And again, it came up with a list of businesses. Um, and then she said, well, create a three day or five day or seven day itinerary for a couple who's visiting from Cairns or Far North Queensland. Uh, they're self-driving uh, around Adelaide and the regions and the, the wine areas and so on. Uh, they've got an accommodation budget of this much per night and create an itinerary for them using the businesses that you identified who might be useful partners for me. And sure enough, ChatGPT came up with an itinerary. Now, does that mean that her job is uh, redundant and obsolete? No, not at all because ChatGPT's suggestions, not all of them were relevant. Uh, some of them were completely incorrect, in fact. So one of the accommodation options was way outside the, the price range and the budget that she suggested. And um, so she had to add her intelligence on top of what ChatGPT recommended for her. And this is the right way to use AI tools like ChatGPT. Use them as an assistant, not as something that's going to replace you. And the businesses and the individuals who are getting the best value and the best leverage from AI now are doing exactly that. They're using AI to boost their productivity and to enhance the experience that they're offering their customers or clients. Um, if you're interested in knowing more about this, I'm running a, an online workshop soon, a free online presentation about AI, particularly for leaders, but we'll talk about productivity, we'll talk about customer experience, and we'll talk about some of the things you should do to make sure that you're using it safely, ethically, and responsibly. So if you're interested, register, and because it's free, public, open to everybody, feel free to invite other people to it as well. Hope to see you there. I'll see you in the future.